Okay, out of there. Oh. Deliver three invisibility potions to Fatima Lavain. Okay. Hello. 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 My name's Harry Potter. Ooh, wait, what's oh. this? Let me in. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello. It says Quidditch. Shit. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. You and sound I've like only a drug just dealer. returned. <laughs> Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? I am. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Can I get the Nimbus? Uh, 2023. Yeah. Yeah. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. We're not done talking, idiot. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U One's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Guess Dash, one known for its handsome you. appearance. Harry's. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many I reasons I cherish running this shop. <laughs> what do you mean you don't? Know? I don't remember what his wood was. <laughs> was it was Voldemort's made out of Thank you? Voldemort's was. Okay. What are we looking I, they for were, today? They were brothers because their cores were from the same phoenix. But I don't remember what Harry's wand wood was. Oh, for, oh. The Voldemort's was you. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah. Take a shot. You got it. Grazie. Do they not have different qualities? Bonnie tit. Uh. Hmm. Stability. Stability. Hogwarts House Pride. Speedy. Very fast. That Preview. item is of the highest quality. It looks cool. But <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I kind of like that one. It looks that item is of the sturdy. highest quality. Ooh, that one's tricked out. Yeah. It's got a fiery temperament. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but it sounds dangerous. Uh, what uh, one did you like? The third that one? That item is of the yeah. highest quality. It's got little little sacks so you can like store stuff sack. on it. And you've got a light so you can see where you're going. That's very sweet. I love so it. So that people can see you. I'm gonna buy it. You'll be thrilled nice. with that broom. I promise you. Where's the Lumos guy? The <laughs> Lumos. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly okay. be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. What? You, you wanted to, to tell me this now? Interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ah. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As mm. it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, 
I could complete work on my first update. His sweater has What's snitches that? and broom, like dudes riding brooms on it. <laughs> Sounds as if you what took a dork. Gower's class. <laughs> I love I him. Did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me United. And I Not find a certain satisfaction in winning <laughs> over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Okay, okay you win. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. I'll think about it. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Lumos. What else is in here? Midnight Debonair Ensemble. Uh, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. 42 money. Did that say a Midnight Debonair or something or other? Yeah. New, uh... Uh, this. So you can, like, essentially bewitch your clothes to look a certain... Like, you can make it look like however you want it to look. Yeah. I'm a butler now. <laughs> oh. Room upgrades. This is the you can end apparently hold. You can apparently hold a lot of brooms. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm right. <laughs> How do I ride my broom? <laughs> Seems like you should just be able to jump, and it just zips under your crotch. <gasps> jingle, 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 tingle. Not that you can get in a lot of these places. I, am I hearing it over here? Oh. There you go. Cauldrons! How about... Yeah. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Sarah Dwin's advertise the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Wow. Yeah, that that's would be probably, ineffective. That's probably an Irish name, and I have no idea how to pronounce anything Irish. <laughs> Dead wing. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Jill. It does. Uh, press tab, then tap three to equip room. Nice. Wee. Nice. Like a crow, I fly directly to my destination. You are Chad. You are every teen. What does Q you do? You fly. I... Grim controls. Uh, I actually don't want to go there right now. Uh, <gasps> I have a quest from Mr. Potion Boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We gotta go to... to Fatima. Fatima. We nice. Ah, huh, they're playing that game. Oh yeah, like we play that game. Quest. Oh, oh there's quest a quest updated. for it. I guess you get to play again. Uh huh. <laughs> what are those balloons? Those are trees, I mean? Emily. No, the balloons <laughs> over there. <laughs> balloons. Um, I don't know. It's probably for Crash Bandicoot. Ah. Or uh, maybe Tingle's flying up there and you gotta knock him down, Peg. I just started watching the Grumps play uh, Majora's Mask. Oh yeah? Her Aaron hates that game. He does. He hates every <laughs> Zelda, from what I understand. No. No. Um, I, I believe he really likes Wind Waker. Hmm. But he hates um, Skyward Sword especially, but also <laughs> Ocarina and Majora's Mask. 
his main argument for it was like enemies aren't oh it didn't mean that enemies aren't difficult they just take too much time he's got a lot of arguments <laughs> what from what i remember it's like you know how when you turn adult link and you go to the forest temple and there's like those wolves that just run around and then they swipe at you and then they like block or defend yeah like when they're running around and when they're blocking you just can't do anything to them and his main yeah. well, from what i remember his main argument or his main thing at least from what i understood was that he hated that he hated that he, you couldn't yeah. do anything yes that was a a big hate yeah. for him Difficulty is entirely Madame subjective. Lewine, Sounds like he just needs I to get good. From no, functions. I agree with him on that <laughs> one. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have just your give me my money. for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here they are. Uh, Here are the potions you requested. <laughs> you think it's so simple? Oh. I know Pippin is always uh. trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. What? Drink it. What? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. She pronounced it canut. I always thought it was nut. I thought the K was silent. Wait. Drink potion. Uh. Slurpees. Yeah, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Lumos. Lumos. Talk. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Okay. okay. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Money? She gave you I money. I should be right? going now. Thank you. I think so. Lumos. Or maybe he'll pay you out in the end. Oh. Wow. See this yeah, You flew a distance. How <laughs> for it to reveal any hidden icons that may be at the same location. Oh. I did fly a distance, yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Chug along, Kirby. Majora's Mask is the best. Uh. I was. I will say that Majora's Mask Sometimes it seems is very interesting. It it might be the most interesting one. We have everything a young but, student might need when it comes to potions. Uh, have a good look around. Wind Waker is the best. <laughs> well, ah. I ha I haven't played Breath of the Wild, but everyone's considering that the best. Uh, I would. It was all right, and and maybe it's because I'm older now. But I, like, with Breath of the Wild was good. It's not the best for me. Twilight Tom likes Princess. Twilight Princess. That was also a good one. Aaron said Twilight Princess was also. I think he used the word. It's okay. <laughs> 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 there wasn't like a rage of hate. It was yeah. It's okay. <laughs> uh. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are both very good. Twilight Princess was the... I would say, like, the prettiest. Yeah. Or the most mature looking, I guess. Yes. It's the least cartoony. Yeah. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Yeah, she was a bitch. <laughs> I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly fun. appreciate your help. <laughs> and at least it's done Link with... was pretty sexy in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like an additional fee? No. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. 
Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, <laughs> Mr. Pippin. He definitely said care. it like not... Not you know. witch. Not like, she's the be best witch around. He was like, she's a witch. <laughs> 300 money? It'll do. Nice. Um, that covered half the cost of your broom. Yeah. I, I don't know. Hello, little child. Yeah, that's I, I, who you are. Wind Waker and Twilight Princess were both really good. I feel like I'm forgetting one. But... Oh... Cat. I don't think so. Probably not. The darker themes appeal to you? Yeah. Every, not everything is like happy-go-lucky <laughs> like it is in uh, Wind Waker. Everything's yeah. cartoony and everyone's like hee-hee. Uh, <laughs> um, Majora's... I think Majora's definitely stumped people the most. Like what... And I don't even know if Nintendo it, uh, intended that. Because, from what I understand, they put out a they put they they made that game in like six months. Wait, which game? Majora's Mask. Really? <laughs> yeah, because it, it just used the way Aaron was explaining it. It was like they just kind of used everything from Ocarina. They like had all the visual essentially, and like all the characters. They had all that, and they just kind of put them in a new world. And people are like, whoa, this is purgatory. <laughs> and I don't know if Nintendo, like, intended that, but... <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Lumos. Couldn't, couldn't see there, it was too dark, him. apparently. I... <laughs> you Buster. need Lumos. It's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, Zip. let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. <laughs> Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Sneaky. Lumos. Not There's even the professors know about this place? Here. I doubt it. Well disguised. Sebastian I saw was the guy that teaches you all the death casties. He's a oh. Slytherin, so that makes sense. They automatically well, know all of them by default. <laughs> That's like profiling. But it's true. It's a vanishing cabinet. Maybe. Wow, you did it. Without having ever done it before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I heard it was completed within two years. Six My months friend, seems nuts. Ominous Gaunt. It does seem she nuts. It, the Undercroft. We used to play it does seem, all the time. yeah, six months to, With my to pump out the entire game. Anne. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Lumos. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've daily. never been caught. I guarantee I the professor saw about this place. <laughs> or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else Gaunts here. were the ones Again, who had a tide of Voldemort, right? this to no one. Yeah. Especially Ominous. Oh. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. 
Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Mm -hmm. Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. <laughs> Professors the say it's not the appropriate <laughs> spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. I wonder why. Although he did enjoy <laughs> learning this one. A spell His like Confringo is, is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To exactly. Be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. <laughs> 